Hi, and thank you for joining me for this tour of the JVC X790 and RS540. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wasn't that Sound & Vision's top picks in 2017? Yes, it did debut in 2017 to a lot of great accolades and a lot of great reviews. But I'm doing this video now because I still feel it's very relevant in today's market. With its 130,000 to 1 native contrast ratio or 1.3 million to 1 dynamic contrast ratio and 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, doing this all at a $4,000 price point with a three-year warranty, how can it not be relevant? JVC is still making small production runs of this projector every month. In spite of having a really well received native 4K line of projectors. So join me for this menu tour of the JVC X790 or RS540. Now we're recording this off a Screen Innovations Black Diamond 1.4 gain screen. The source is an OPPO 203, and the content in the background is Mystery Box. I, I will caution that this is not going to be the same thing as if you were sitting here looking at this image because we're limited by the camera's ability to produce color and contrast and even to some degree resolution. Now I want to go right into the menu tour. We're going to go into uh, the advanced menu button on the remote control. It's going to take us right into picture mode. If you hit that button, you'll have several different filters to choose from. HDR automatically goes on when you have HDR content. We also have a THX filter and a cinema filter. You have the ability to turn off the clear black and turn it down into different modes. Uh, lamp power, you can turn this to low and high power. When you go into low power, it cuts power by about 33% to extend your bulb life if you don't need the extra light. And then lens aperture, if you want to uh, include the intelligent lens aperture by JVC, you leave that in auto, but you can't put it in manual. And then you have this little bar right here, you can slide back and forth to adjust the aperture. Next, we'll go right into color profile. If you go into that submenu, you can choose HDR, BT2020, standard or video, but it does automatically select that again for depending on content. Color management, you can individually adjust these colors separately. You have access position, hue, saturation, and brightness. Next, we'll go into color temp. You have HDR. Let me go into high brightness mode, show you what that looks like. And you can adjust the uh, gains all separately as well as the offset. This projector can be ISF calibrated, so you've got lots and lots of control here. The next stop on our tour is going to be the gamma menu. Uh, if you go into that sub menu, you're going to see we have three different custom presets as well as hybrid log gamma and HDR to 2084 and a few others. In the color selection menu, we've got white, green, red, and blue that you can individually go in and tune. We also have picture tone, dark level, and brightness on that sub menu. And when we go into NPC level, you can turn it off 4K E shift, enter the graphics mode, and you have some ability to adjust enhancement, smoothing, and noise reduction. Next, we're going to blur reduction. That's going to be where you can turn on and off low latency mode. I believe that's down to two frames, which is the industry standard. Uh, you can monitor the clear motion drive and change motion enhance. And of course, you have control over contrast, brightness, color, and tint. Next, we'll go over to input. Now, I recommend most of these be set to auto, but you do have the ability to change them. I'm going to switch this over to super white, force it out of auto. Not much of a change. You can see a little. You can do the same thing with color space. You can force it out of auto and go into 444 or 422 or even RGB. This is also where you can set up the masking for the projector. You can adjust top, bottom, left, and right. And you do have three presets for that. And just case if you move your projector from room to room and screen to screen. And the DI lineup all have the ability to do 3D. You can force that out of auto and do side by side or top and bottom. And you can change the EDID on the projectors as well. Let's go over to lens control. Lens control with focus, zoom, and shift is going to give you everything you need to do to get that image up onto your screen. And you also have 10 lens presets. I've got 69 and 235 to 1, but you can name them anything you want, anything your heart desires. Now we'll move on to pixel adjustment. I could spend an entire video doing pixel adjustment. Maybe I just will one day. But for now, I'll just let you know you can do your whole pixel adjustment or do 144 different zones in red and blue. Uh, again, fine pixel adjustment or a whole pixel adjustment. Screen adjust allows you to change it from a front projection system to a rear projection system. High altitude mode essentially kicks the fans in high power all the time. And screen adjust is really pretty cool. 
It essentially allows you to cross-reference what kind of screen you own, get a number off JVC's website, and then plug that in here and it'll fine-tune the rejector for that particular screen. Display setup allows us to change the back color, move this menu we're looking at all over the screen, remove the dis signal display that would normally appear in the right-hand corner, remove the JVC logo, or change the language. Function allows us to turn off the 12-volt trigger. We have timers, a turn-off timer that lasts from one to four hours. Eco mode on and off. This allows us to see our network. And a remote control. You can have two different projectors in the same room with two different remotes. And obviously from this screen, you can also do the lamp reset. And possibly the most important screen, the information screen. This tells us exactly what we're getting on the projector. So this is telling us the input is on HDMI 1. It's telling us our source, our color space, our colorometry. The HDR, it's even telling us our max CLL and FALL is coming into the projector. So that's a little bit more about the JVC X790 or RS540, a complete tour of its menu system. Thank you very much for watching.